Hello? Elton Road? With any of my bike? Okay, let me see what I can do. In 2017, 2.7 million people tuned in to watch a live feed of a train arriving at Barking Station in the UK. Just 18 days previously, that train had left the Chinese city of Iwu on a 12 and a half thousand kilometer journey to its final destination in the British Isles. This train is part of a multi-trillion dollar project called the Belt and Road. And I'm here at one of China's busiest ports at this railway, in the desert, in an ancient city along the Silk Road, to tell you about just that. There's a Chinese saying that goes, if you want to get rich, you need to build roads. But it's the 21st century. So in addition to roads, we need telecommunications networks, we need electricity, we need water. The Belt and Road, or to give it its full name, the Silk Road Economic Belt, and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road are the biggest infrastructure and trade projects of their kind in living memory. In 2017, China is expected to remain the main driver of global growth. But for an economy the size of China, it knows that it cannot go it alone. The China to Britain train is a perfect example. This growing network is going to bring countries closer together and also transport people and products quicker and cheaper than ever before. There is huge demand for infrastructure projects in the Asia Pacific. Estimates value that these projects are going to be worth 26 trillion US dollars up until 2030. So there's demand. There's networks that are being built all over these countries, linking them closer than never before. But the question now is, what about the money? To fill that stop gap, in 2013, China proposed a new financial institution called the AIIB to invest in the infrastructure projects that they need. Headquartered in Beijing, AIIB's membership has now increased to 70 members. The bank's mission is to improve development in Asia by funding financially viable, high quality and environmentally friendly infrastructure. The Belt and Road is based on inclusiveness and with inclusiveness comes mutual benefits, such as job creation. By 2016, 56 such cooperative parks had been built in countries along the Belt and Road, creating 180,000 local jobs, offering not just economic benefits back to the local community, but also value added in terms of training of the local talent. Starting May 14, Beijing will host the first Belt and Road Forum for international cooperation. The forum comes at a time when more than ever, the world needs to reach consensus on how to achieve inclusive growth. The road to wealth must be built on a solid foundation. But in cooperation, we will find strength. And that road will be built for